West Coast, they got Snoop, they got Dre. The East Coast, they just waiting for somebody to fill that void. Puff may be in the right hands. I could be one of the greatest. I used to read Word Up magazine. Are you a bad guy trying to be good? You seeing anybody? Or a good guy trying to be bad? There's someone trying to make you laugh. What's going on, man? It's Jamal Willard. You know I'm starring in the Notorious B.I.G. You know what I'm saying? Notorious coming out 09 January 16th. Y'all look out for that. You know, otherwise known as Great V. God willing, that's the name of the album. We putting it down right now. Real talk. New York. You know how it's going down. Oh, man. It's, man, it's a gift, man. It's a blessing to even be trying to walk in that man's shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, trying to walk in that man's shoes. You know, I'm going to fulfill it and make sure that y'all love the movie. And I'm going to make y'all understand the life of Christopher Wallace as the man. I did my own boot camp, my own biggie boot camp, which took about six months prior before the casting and everything else to make sure, you know, it worked out and I put it together right. Well, I was at, I was at 285. You know, I reached 340. Oh, wow. So, um, <laughs> it was a fat suit. Just wasn't trying to get to there. But big was so big, we still went there. But I didn't want to go there too much. <laughs> you know, then I didn't have my second chin. I was losing that at one time. I wanted to get it back. And then he, you know, I did Marlon Brando with the cotton balls in the mouth to give me that, oh, that feeling of breathing. Then he had asthma. Ooh, then his yeah. walk, his speech, yeah. the mannerisms, the behavior, knowing how to how to look up to Puff, and knowing how to talk to C's. <laughs> you know how to speak to D-Rock through a face shoot like mm -hmm. head to head is the only eye that I look at straight is D-Rock because I looked up to him Puff I'm trying to I'm trying to prove myself to him for what he has took me in life um, talking down to Kim mm -hmm. talking up to Faith but either way with both women always trying to use my charisma to get out of it <laughs> you know um, knowing how to speak to my moms knowing the message she delivered to me uh not to fail her to make her happy that's what i was trying to definitely do just make her so happy with me um just show that it's a different approach of how we can better things you know like uh from my childhood of being christopher to turn into big that when my pops left i had it from that day but i'm telling her that like when when daddy left i already had in my frame of mind at seven that i was going to take care of you before I spit his rhymes the way he did it, I would train myself to 20, 30 times and then go spit the rhyme. Instead of holding a paper and read it off, you would tell the difference. You would be able to tell if I read it off a paper and if I just trained it in my head. Mm -hmm. Because the way he swagged the track, if he stopped breathing on in the middle of a word, if I'm reading off the paper, I can't study it the same. So I would have to train my brain to stop when he stopped. Do it when he do it. Breathe the way he breathed. From the arms to the to the breath, the air. I mean, it's, oh man. Hours and hours and hours. And I mean, talking about 12, 13 hour sessions all night. Um, well, it's new to me, you know what I'm saying? But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every bit of it. I'm doing what I had to do. Learning his movements, his mannerism, vocal training. That was a lot of vocal training. Big had a lot of breath in him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a lot that much breath in me like that. But um, yeah, we worked it out. Um, movements, the walk, the wobble. Um, I mean it's just a lot. It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? And we put it down already, you know, we BK, so we already got the swagger and everything else is gonna roll into play. Hmm. Definitely the message is how to be a man from um, the vulnerabilities of a boy and how he treat his mother. And um money 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 don't make the man. Well, the best is it's definitely changed me as um, a man of responsibilities and knowing um, that how, you know, I already knew that money wasn't everything. But for me to be in position, be struggling, to be a voice to show the new generations and the youth and change, like Obama, Martin Luther King, to make the change, to make the transition through B.I.G. to make the change, has been an incredible experience for me. It's so incredible that I'm trying to figure out if I still want to rap. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying because the message is, is, is that we send it through the rap is kind of it's kind of not the message you know so um big was the king man you know and all I can really say is man uh nobody could put it better nobody could put it together better you know what I'm saying and um he definitely was like the Shakespeare or the ghetto you know what I'm saying and he did it the best way that you know anybody could do it man um 
big as an honor, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure his legacy is felt. I'm going to make sure I do it right to let people know how it need to be done. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to misrepresent it and make it look bad. I'm going to make it look like it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make Puff proud. I'm make his moms proud. I'm going to make him proud. B.I.G. is the greatest rapper ever. Let's change the world, big. Can't change the world unless we change ourselves.